Hello everyone, our guests on this segment, Tony and Evelyn, and I'm gonna let them pronounce their last names in just a moment. Tony and Evelyn, it's good to have you here. Pronounce your last name for us. How do you say your last name? Tenervia. That's why I didn't say it. Tenervia. <laughs> if they start to argue, we're in trouble. <laughs> hey, it's good to have you guys here. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna start with you, Mom, if you don't mind. Just by way of explanation, uh, our young friend Tony here at 64. Uh, 62. 62, yes. it is, see? Is, uh, well, has autism. Mom, when did you find out? Uh, it was, uh, we didn't uh, find him with, until he was uh, like a teenager. They just know and nothing came out. Uh, so he wasn't a talker? Uh, no, he was not talking mm -hmm. until he went to, uh, uh, went to kindergarten. I think it, it was about five. And uh, so he had a late start because he would not uh, talk. So they had him going back two years. So I guess he was about, he was about five or six when he started. Uh, and there was nothing said except that he didn't talk. And uh, so uh, they wanted him to go to another school and, and uh, ride the bus. And, and uh, so he, that was kind of bad for him. Well, let me ask you this. Are there, does Tony have any brothers or sisters? He has two brothers. And, uh, and one, uh, we had four children, four boys and a girl. Do either of them have autism? No, they're fine. So he is the only one uh -huh. in the family yeah. with autism. Were there any other relatives in your family with autism? No, not that we knew, and we really didn't know that he had autism at all until he was uh, later, but he graduated from high school and then, and then they, he went out to California and, uh, and, and worked for seven years and he was kind of on his own. And uh, uh, he, is, he did fine. Learned he, to drive and everything. Yes, he learned to drive. That's fantastic. And, uh, Tony, I want to talk to you a moment because okay. first of all, anyone who does what you have done and what we're about to show the folks at home has my respect, but anyone with autism who's done it, I'm, I'm just in awe of. You've invented a board game, have you not? Uh, yes, uh, I do have um, good uh, imagination, and I first thought about that game in... Uh, this is the game, if we could get a shot of the board. I, I want to avoid glare, I don't have a monitor to work with, but. You'll have to tell me if it tilted up or down. Does that work? What's the name of the game? It's uh, Keith to the Capitals. And how do you come up with the idea? Um, in 1991. How did you, how I, did you come to it? Well, I looked at the, my apartment uh, door and uh, the sliding door, and I just came in to me. and. I started working on a prototype, mm -hmm. but we never went through with a uh, patent on it. Now you've got a, a website and you've got a, actually a publisher to handle the game itself. Are there other games that you're kind of tinkering with? Uh, yes. Um, my uh, publisher is uh, Golden Bell Studios. And I do have a agreement with them to make um, uh, coast to coast adventures. Mm -hmm. It would be a, a similar game, but um, uh, there wouldn't be any dice. You would need to use your um, cell phone for um, real, tra real time travel and, and um, you don't want to get, uh, there'll be like 
20 national parks and 50 of the most popular um, cities in the United States. You know, I, I just might, I might go to work for you. You're, <laughs> you're going to be making all the money here. What's been the reaction? Has the game sold well? Uh, it is on um, Amazon. Uh -huh. And um, we could only make um, 1,500 units of it. Um, but uh, we're hoping um, Encyclopedia Britannica is going to be the um, licensor of the game. They're going to have the name on it, uh, and um, we're hoping it does good. And I'd like to thank Golden Bell Studios um, because they did send um, 15 uh, games and um, uh, stuffed toys to the toy drive. And I only asked for two, but they sent 15. So they're really behind this? Yes, they are. I really admire what you've done here, lad. Thank you. This is really terrific. Mm -hmm. You must have a wealth of things you want to try. Uh, I, I guess I would be a board game designer. <laughs> a board game designer. I, I should like have that. been a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was undiagnosed. Um, uh, being undiagnosed is uh, not good. When your mother and I talked before we started taping today, mm -hmm. she said that you were a delightful child, mm -hmm. well behaved, never caused any trouble. You never set fire to anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> never abused animals, but you were just a, a wonderful child, and you were just quiet. Did you know that you were a little different from other children? Did you uh, have a sneaky suspicion? Yes. Uh -huh. But um, I am. Uh, I am improving over. Um, uh, like uh, when I was um, uh, younger, I never went to a doctor. I didn't go to a doctor for maybe from 1977 to 2003. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of going to uh, the doctor, especially the dentists. There, you're writing a book now. Yes. And mm -hmm. I understand our director has already seen an advanced copy of the first chapter, uh -huh. and she's yeah. very impressed with what you're doing and mm -hmm. what, you, what you've done and the potential here. Because what you're doing, if I understand it correctly, is you're reaching out to other families that might have autism in their, in their home, yes. saying mm -hmm. there is hope. There is hope. And there are ways to live with this. Yeah, there's, uh, there's no cure for autism. If there was a cure for um, autism, I wouldn't take the pill. Well, I suspect we're gonna we're gonna see your name in the business news before it's all said and done. Tell me about the book. Have you got a title yet? Um, Unlock the secrets and fun of uh, autism. I'm I'm on like page eighty-five. And you, I'm taking my taking my time. It's kind of like a bi biography, so, so I can mention I, mean, I, I can some. mention my uh, TV interviews, mm -hmm. and um, I want to be an advocate for um, autism. Well, like, I think uh, you can well say, represented if yeah, you are. I like to thank um, showing of. Throwing on Hope a Pediatric mm -hmm. Therapy and Autism Center. Um, they are helping me and my nonprofit. They're going to be t uh, taking part in the Troy Drive. Well, I have to tell you both, it's been an honor for me to sit and talk with you in this brief period. And if you have a chance, go to Amazon and get yourself a copy of Keys to the Capital. 
Uh, it's a game for everybody, and it's championed by this gentleman sitting right here. And Mom's with him, and gosh, it's been nice meeting you folks. Thank you for coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I do have uh, one more thing. Okay, very quickly, okay. they tell me I have to hurry. I, um, I'm not nervous during this interview. I, I do have a, I do have a good uh, speech uh, therapist, and um, uh, they will be grading me on this well, interview. Well, you should and, get high marks for this. Yeah. Listen, thank you both. Uh -huh. okay. We appreciate you very much. Coming up, she rests on the banks of the Arkansas River near Muskogee and is Oklahoma's only submarine. More after this.